Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another um, penny savings challenge video. So if you're new here, welcome. My name's Alicia and on this channel I do all of the budgeting things. I do cash stuffing, we do sinking funds, we do savings challenges. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then definitely keep watching. So this is our change that we have collected um, throughout the week. So let me go ahead and just kind of dump that out for you. And I don't feel like I have as much as I normally do, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and check off what we can for this week. And then next week when we do this video, I will try to make sure that I have a few dollars in case I need to check off some extra that were short. So hopefully that makes sense. I try to check off seven numbers each week, um, but like I said, that doesn't always work out. I try to um, do this mostly with change. So I don't put a whole lot of dollars in. I did catch up last week. I was a few behind and I did throw in some dollars for that. You can see those there on the top. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So we checked off quite a bit of these numbers, um, but our smallest number that we have on here is gonna be $1.81. So let's go through and see if we have that. So we've got 25, 50, 75, $1, 25, 50, 75, um, 80, and 81. So that is one number checked off for today. So let me know if you guys um, had a good weekend. Hopefully, I'm filming this video a little bit early, but hopefully it'll go up on Monday. So let me know if you guys had a good weekend. All right, next up is gonna be $1.82. So we've got 25, 50, 75, 80, 81, 80, 81, 81, and 82. So that's two numbers so far. And then next up is gonna be $1.83. So we've got 25, 50, 75, 1, 25, 50, 75, 80, 81, and 82. And 83. So that takes care of three numbers so far. And I just kind of noticed this is, I guess this is um, a Canadian coin. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and put it to the side. So it looks like that is a five cents Canadian. So I guess that's like their Canadian nickel. So I'm just going to put that to the side. I'll probably give it to my kids. They kind of collect that like foreign money and all that fun stuff. So I'll just put that one over to the side. All right. So next up is going to be $1.84. And I don't know that we're going to have enough for that, but let's go through and see how much we do have. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, um, whoops, 90, there is one dollar, and five, 10, 15, 20, 30, um, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, so one dollar and 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, and 84. All right, so we did have that. All right, so that is four numbers checked off for today. Um, so we need to do like three extra next time. So I'm gonna write a note up here at the top. Um, so I remember next time. So I'm gonna write three extra 
And um, so next time we'll try to check off 10 numbers. All right, and we've got a few pennies over here. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four pennies left over. So I think I will go through and just check off something here on our second page and just make it a little bit smaller. Um, so we've got um, a lot of $3 amounts. So I'm just gonna take this $3 amount here and check that off and we'll write 296 and we'll put these four pennies in there. And just in case you're wondering what's up with the second page, um, what I do is usually, if I have enough change to check off my seven numbers and I have more change, I will go through and check off the change amount, like um, just for example, $2.40. So I might check off the 40 cents, but I would still need to put in the $2. So I write that over on my second page. So that's what all of these numbers are. And you can see some of them I've already went through and checked off. I do have a lot of $3 amounts, um, but just for me, it's easier to add $3 later than have to add, you know, the high amounts like $3.65. So I just try to make them smaller just because it's more manageable for me. Um, but yeah, so I believe that that is everything I have for you guys today. Um, thanks so much for tuning in for another video. And if you're new here and you enjoyed the content and you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button and helping me to grow my channel. And I will see you guys back here next time. Bye.